I want to uh, congratulate the Flyers and their organization on the series win. And uh, I really can't wish them good luck, though. But. Dan, looking at the series, um, going into the series, you guys had like you're pretty much your full complement of players, something you hadn't had for a lot of seasons. But in particular, can you talk a little bit about Sidney Crosby and, and kind of what you might have expected from him and what, what the disappointment for someone like that who's gone through what he has the past couple of years would be for him and maybe for some of the other guys too? Well, I think uh, you know the expectation for our team is high. And... You know, whether uh, no matter what your season looks like, the, the expectation was is still very high for this group. And to get, you know, Sydney back with 14 games and to have a full complement of players, given what this group has done uh, during the regular season, it maybe even sex sets the expectation even higher. And, and uh, you know, and to see, you know, I think. These six games were probably Crosby's best six of the previous 14. I thought he was uh, was very good. It ends up with eight points, I believe. And uh, but again, I think uh, there's there's not a lot of words to to describe. You know, this group, the expectations, and and what we you know what we thought with this this complement of players. A lot of momentum after the last two games to give up a goal. 32 seconds, and even though that's been a curse in this series for five games, that, did you sense the team deflate any when they gave up that goal? No, I, I don't. I didn't sense that uh, at all. And, and yeah, to this point, scoring the first goal hasn't been um, a, an indicator in the first five games. So um, you know, I didn't sense a, a bend or a break in the team. And, and uh, you know, I, I think. In this series, I didn't sense that from our team at all. Obviously, we, um, you know, down 0-3, we battle in four and, and, and five, and I still think we battled uh, after that goal and even after the, you know, giving up their their power play, giving their power play a goal there to get down two nothing. I still sensed our team was uh, fighting another resiliency to come back in that game. Dan, you have the lead in games one and two on home ice and come up short in both of those games. Are those the ones that you really spend the summer thinking the most about? I think I mean, looking looking back and um, game one in particular and, and well, game two as well, we have the lead and, and up three nothing and one. Spend a lot of time thinking about that. Dan, uh, the players basically pinpointed the defensive play as a team as sort of the culprit to this series. Is there an element to the defensive play that where maybe you're the most disappointed in something you really didn't anticipate considering the season that you guys had in the regular season? I, I think, uh, you know, our special teams situation, our penalty kill in particular, um, I think we gave up 12, 12 power play goals in six games. It's... Um, you know, I think that's a, a, a big factor in, in every game, almost, uh, including the ones we win. Uh, you know, that's probably an area of the, the game um, that really was the biggest factor in the series. Dan, you said that Sid, these six games were, uh, were the, the best you thought he had played. How about today, though? He didn't seem to be his usual self, at least for the naked eye. What what did you see of his play today? Well, I, I, uh, we were on the short end of the, the scoreboard. Um, and, you know, for a lot of that game, we're uh, behind significantly. So uh, the Flyers weren't concerned with giving up too much. I don't think there was a lot out there. And, um, you know, uh, we were going to have to manufacture a goal by getting a puck to the net and, and whether that or on the power play. And I don't think we did enough of that, whether that, that wasn't just uh, one player. It was, you know, the Flyers, I think, you know, played their best defensive game of this series today. 
in addition to getting out to the first goal and then a power play goal, they were, they were their best at the uh, other side of the puck today. The psyche of a team or the psyche of players when they're on the ice when you know your PK is struggling. Does, does it, is it harder to play when you know your PK is struggling and if you give them a power play, it could be a difference in a game? Well, I think it's, it's more really, in, in this case, uh, and in the series sometimes, more the psyche of the penalty killers uh, going over the boards, having given up opportunities and goals. And, you know, our penalty kill is, is a thing that can get you a, a big penalty kill. Even if you've given up one, you can get a big penalty kill. It can be the difference in, in a game. And, um, you know, I think that was a big thing about the series. We did not get that penalty kill. That's something our penalty killers have been good at all season long. And starting with game one, we didn't get that that kill. That first kill was coming in the third period, and we didn't get it. And and that was really a big factor. And, and at times, I think, you think we give them too much respect on their, their power play. It's a very good power play. They were very effective. But that psyche and that mentality and giving them too much respect and you know, again tonight, their first opportunity, they get the goal, and that's a, a big part of the game. Dan, back right. Uh, I, I know it looks different from ice level than up top. Did, did uh, there was a lot of passing around the perimeter, particularly on the power play? Did it look from your vantage point that you guys passed up a few shots? I think I think so. We wanted to be more, uh, both five and five, and on the power play, uh, more aggressive shooters. And uh, you know, I don't think we were. I don't think we did that the way we needed to to get pucks. To the net in the in the blue paint area for our team to to have success and it I think the the score played a little bit into that a little bit as the as the game wore on you're trying to make a a, a play to get a goal they were they were very good today and blocking shots we saw that from them and we were you know made one or two extra passes trying to get by that to get a goal and and we needed to to have that mentality a little more both on five on five and the power play.